Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great day. I want to make this quick video for you because I think sometimes all of us need to hear a couple of things and I want to share my journey with you, a couple of things that I've been noticing lately and obviously there are some things sometimes you uh, are more uh, attuned to notice and I want to share this because this is really important, so hear me out. You have to save your own life. You have to, you come to a point in your life, you come to this realization that enough bullshit. You are sick of some s situations, some circumstances, and you want these to change. And no one is going to, uh, f for your rescue. Uh, it's, it's really up to you. And you have to come to a point that you say to yourself, you have enough brain power, you have two arms, two legs, you, you have every there's nothing wrong with you. The only thing wrong is uh, the way w that you designed your life, right? And it's not working. So in order to for you to get out of there, you have to save your own life. No, no one's coming to the rescue. And if you analyze exactly what's, uh, what needs to be happening, and if that, that is not happening, and you, need, you still need to have it happening for you, guess what? You have to do it. And I'll give you my own example. Um, I'm a life insurance agent, as I'm like touting all over the place when I'm doing these videos. And I did well when I was uh, selling door to door. And um, lately, I've been struggling a bit doing phone calls. Not because I have a problem calling anyone, because I really don't. But something's happening. I already mentioned in previous videos. And I talked yesterday with a couple of I sent a couple of. Um, I say post to a couple of um, psychotherapic cuticle um, groups and I got a couple of re responses and I saw the common denominator that essentially that I'm exhausted. That's the main denominator. So you need to, because obviously it makes sense. Uh, I started thinking about it. This is why I wanted to make this video today. Because think about it, right? You're under pressure to perform. Right, so it's understandable that you get exhausted if you're not performing, right? But still, you still need to perform. And this is where uh, you see those fake gurus out there and all that crap out there, like uh, marketers and all that. No one's gonna talk about that. No one's gonna be, uh, talk about that specifically with you because it's all smoke screens and mirrors. And this is something that is true. It's something that's true to my heart. I really want to, su to succeed. I'm not... Uh, at the place where I want to be. And I've realized this today, essentially. It's, it's really up to you. It's really up to you. And if it, you're not making enough phone calls because you're tired, rest five minutes and do more 10 calls. If all you can do today is 10 calls, you're short on your dreams. So if you are exhausted and you need to perform, this, this doesn't come easy. And I wanted to make this video because I see a lot of stuff online because you're searching for answers, right? And everything's easy. Everything is like, uh, seems to be easy. Even those like, even billionaires, when they present themselves like in those uh, economic forums and all that, it's like, oh, I'm, I was the underdog and I got a loan for 10,000. Man, my, my father died, didn't give a shit. Man. So it's like, my mom's alive, doesn't give a shit about my daughter. So, so it's like, uh, it's like that that's just fake promotion shit right so what you need to be looking out for is essentially what is it that you are not doing that you're supposed to be doing and i i i took a little break now because i've been doing some calls today and i did a break because finally i got uh, a, a big business owner that actually said okay i'm going to t send you some paperwork maybe like Sure, we're always open to receiving things that are valued to us. So if you can help us out, we're more than happy to, to uh, let's, let's combine forces. And I have this, uh, what I do every day, essentially. I told you about my routines. I, I write everything down that I want. And at this point in time where I am right now, I write uh, like my name, and in front, I write CFA because it's something that I really want to achieve in the future. I don't mean no uh, like uh, fault in the ethics department. It's just uh, just a personal thing. It's just just for me. I don't write it down anyway. Just just for me, because like I said, it's really powerful when you write things down, seeing exactly 
how you want things to become. I did the same thing for London School of Economics. I, I like got this, uh, I don't know, I found this diploma online or something. I took the name from some other guy and put my name in there. Just for me, I just keep it on my folder. And guess what? I applied to the to London School of Economics and I got in. Right? So it's one other step in t uh, and, uh, until you actually, some, someday the, the actual diploma will be become real, right? Because I want to become a, a PhD in economics. So it's um it's a mind thing it's a really a mind thing and but there's the this is where most internet crap ends and where life starts because there's a huge difference between writing things down and the things that you want and um and then reality is going to hit you in the head in the ribs and people don't give a shit if you if you like uh gets uh, thrown to, to the street because you don't have enough money to, to pay the rent. So y you really have to do it. And I found that um, I don't know, this is therapeutic to me to be honest because I don't have anyone like uh, telling me this stuff and I figured this st stuff out from my own experiences from speaking with people that are successful yeah, where I want to be. Besides the um, knowledge department, what I meant regarding the PhD and completing the CFA program, which is something that is really dear to my heart, I want to become financially free, like permanently. And that will come as a result of the insurance company paying me. And the insurance company is going to pay me because I got enough people that, uh, that we had policies delivered to them. They paid for the policies. They are paying for the policies because you had meetings with those people, right? And you got meetings with those people because you had this consistent habit on, on, every, on an everyday basis of calling people. And you see programs online like Final Expense and all that that works pretty well, maybe works really well in the US. Here in Portugal, it doesn't work. I try that. I spent pretty much like between five or 10,000 of my own money last year in, in marketing, didn't work. I got a couple of leads. Well, I did get some leads. I'm not saying that I didn't work at all. It, I did get some leads, but it doesn't work. The economics doesn't make, doesn't make sense. So I, I got back to doing something, which is essentially calling people on a cold basis. And it's exhausting to me. I got a, a yesterday I got this, these people from like those forums. And I, I could tell the ones that were like more attuned to what I was asking. Essentially, it's two things. You are... Um, uh, you are a person of analysis. You need like to uh, um, recharge alone. This is why I'm doing this because re I'm recharging by helping people this way. And uh, you're exhausted. So, but the thing is, uh, I still need to perform, right? So, I wanted to share this with you because sometimes you, I, I really, it's like if you come across to my channel and see this for the first time, it's just. Um, this is like a, a, a diary. I don't want this to be like coming across as like the, those videos you see out there. Everything's perfect and they figured everything out and they're like millionaire times over. I mean, I'd rather have some dude telling me that he flunked the, the exam like four times and then finally made it, right? Or the guy that like went under financially and then, ma and then made it, right? I'd rather see those people because you can see right through them, right? And I wanted to share this with you because I, I want uh, the only takeaway from this video that I want you to to like to I, I want I want you to make sure you understand this really well. When you come to a point in your life that you are not where you want to be, right? You have to see exactly where the problem is, and like looking back and seeing the constant that always was there that made you fail. And I'll be honest with you, since day one from my first company, it was lack of sales and marketing. Pretty much that was it. The business went under. And when the business did well, it's because I got more sales. That's it. So life insurance works because there's a persistency factor. I don't know about other countries, but here it's like as long as the guy keeps paying the premium, you keep getting paid your commission. So the more, more clients you have, eventually you come to a point, it's like passive income, right? So 
you have to keep building your customer base and you hear a lot about referrals and all about those wonderful systems and I'm sure it will work out someday at this point where I am right now it's not working I got I get some referrals from a couple of business partners I got two actually uh, one is much stronger one one gets me like it's more regular not like everyday basis sometimes it is and it feels great but the, then then you have downtime of months but still, I think it's a good thing. And sometimes I have like uh, people that like throw a couple, a couple of them. That's very rare. So it makes me uh, like when I wake up every day, I am already feeling the pressure because I'm not where I want to be. I want to solve my problem, and I have to make call calls on a, on a consistent basis. Doesn't matter if I'm I'm like upset or um, I still have to make them. And uh, this is what I wanted to share with you, because if you come to this realization that it's only about the calls that you need to make and you are failing, you are under-delivering under the, the number of calls that you promised yourself you should uh, be doing, there's really no way around this. It really isn't. There's really no way around this. You have to make the calls. So I don't care if you do 10 calls and like glue your butt to the chair and uh, like make it mandatory for yourself not to stand up until you at least complete 10 calls and then like uh, go to the bathroom or okay, take like take a shower or something and then do another 10 calls you have to make at least 50 calls that's it you have to make at least 50 calls I have a couple of books here I actually have a couple of them here I'm reading every every time and I like from like the oldest guy I could find like books regarding life insurance and it's pretty much the same thing. They have a referral based program and they have consistency on bringing in cont contacts every single day. And obviously uh, one of them, they are specialized. It's the two main things that Million Dollar Roundtable figured out that the top producers have. They're specialized and have a referral based program. But what they're not telling is how they, how they got there, right? So you don't get specialized from one day to, to another. You just you keep working on it, right? Well, that's why I'm doing the CFA. That's why I'm, I'm further pursuing the PhD in economics. I'm further pursuing like specializations in life insurance because it's something that is dear to my heart. I love the financial sector, especially the life insurance is something that is helpful to people because something happens, they get paid. So it's a, it's a, it's a good, good fit, makes sense. So it's all about getting in front of the people that can get you rich because you, you have enough of people like the restaurant owners that I ha that I have the uh, pleasure of be working with they pay without any issues they have a good vibe so everything works great right and when they needed me right I helped them I, his father died so I helped him get through the process of the paperwork and all that so it's my job right so what happens is because you have this um, enormous amount of pressure every single day to perform you, and you're not performing, like coming short on your dreams because there are more people like that, right? And if even if referrals from them are not working because you need more, you still have to do the work. And I wanted to make this video and once again, like be super focused exactly where you want to be, like exactly what you want to accomplish. And you have to accomplish that every day. And that's the problem because that's super hard because sometimes you're exhausted right and sometimes it's like and you still feel the pressure right and life doesn't give a shit people around you don't give a shit you have to give a shit and if you are not feeling well if you feel stressed when you're calling people you still have to call them and if you're struggling with this man seriously like throw some comments below uh, if i see if i can help you in any way because uh, I know it's hard and I would like to have like more uh, people instead of these self-promoting crap books telling how great they were just telling things up straight and just saying listen this didn't work out for me because you usually are self-promoting books they have another interest at heart besides you right so I just wanted to make this video to be like super blunt with you because if you're struggling and I'm bet you betting you are because all of us do this is not about fake news. I'm not telling a course or anything like that. I'm just telling you things like I, I experienced them on a regular basis. I didn't expect because I, I was doing so great when I was selling door to door. Like uh, telemarketing is much harder for me. 
not because of the phone calls, I can pretty much pick, pick up the phone call and start dialing. It's just uh, for me, because I feel the pressure, I get it exhausted and I still have to make the phone calls. So it's like you're not alone. And I wanted to share this with you because sometimes we go through things and, and we feel we are alone. So make a point of understanding that, okay, I'm not alone, right? There must be people at this exact same time that, I'm go that are going through this. So what is it that they found and how is it that they can like help me in order to navigate around this so that you can succeed, right? Because the solution is not going through to another business. The solution is getting... Uh, finding a, a solution around the specific problem and then you become successful because otherwise your life could become an enormous amount of unfinished crap essentially and you'll get older really older and looking back and say I didn't accomplish anything and meanwhile that building that they started building across the street it's finished and now people are living there that was two years ago see what I mean they focused on like doing the construction and all that, the zoning and all that stuff, and then the painting and the electrical crap and all that stuff. And then the realtor came and they sold the home, so, right? And in the meantime, you were doing like one month this, one month that, two weeks this, two weeks that, it doesn't work, let's do that. So, man, focus people, other one is they're gonna get things. And at this point in my life, I'm focused on getting my CFA, getting my PhD in economics from, from LSE, from London School of Economics, and becoming completely financially free. I have my exact numbers written down. I know exactly what I need to, to attain. So what happens is I, I come down to this realization of saying, okay, I need this amount of people that I, uh, um, buy a life insurance policies, uh, 300 people. And with this amount of premiums, and it's like you keep narrowing down, right? So you make this assumption of saying, listen, I make this amount of calls, 50% of these people are, are in the yellow zone, right? And out of all these 50, uh, 50 people, this 50% out of the calls that I made, I'm gonna close, let's say, 30%. So it's like three or four people, something like that, right? So you make like 10 calls, you close one or two or three, or so something like that, right? I have the, the numbers written down really specifically to the percentage, right? So I know exactly what, what it is that I need to accomplish. And that makes a point because now you know the value of the premium that you have to get. So you start looking through LinkedIn, s surfing for, for LinkedIn and, and looking for people that are able to pay those premiums. In my specific case, are people in between a um, minimum, if they are alone, if they're solo, solopreneurs, we're talking about 1500 a, p a premium. If they have like a more robust organization, still s small to business size, uh, small to medium business size owners, it's around up to f 50 to 70K. That's what we're looking for. So I'm going to LinkedIn and I'm looking, is this a person that is able to pay 50,000 in, in life insurance? Right? So because if I get either referral from him from a couple of more friends and one of them actually works, or if I get people similar to him like in other businesses and it does work, we're good, right? But that doesn't happen until you start making calls on a consistent basis. And sometimes your body is telling you, is giving you clear signs that you are exhausted, but you have to keep going. It's like, like if you are an Uber driver or something. Life doesn't give a shit if you are exhausted because if you don't pick up more customers, you won't get paid, right? And I did Uber for a while because I was broke again. I have to, I did Uber. So it was like, it was horrible. Um, it was a good so social experience though. It's just horrible from exhaustion because way too many hours for the amount of pain that, that you get. So I just wanted to share this with you guys today. It's all about being persistent and understanding that uh, what you're going through, you're not alone. Um, all of us go through this and I, I keep looking at my mentor because he's now in his 60s and he made it. He finally made it. And the key to this is he is being consistent. Ev even today he's being consistent and I know that I have to make at least 60 calls a day. And today I made, I think I'm close to 20, I think 18 or 19, I'm still going to do more calls. And I'm short today. And um, it's really hard because I'm getting exhausted. But you have to, you have to do it anyway. So there's, there's no quick fix for this. If you are an introverted person, I don't mean shy person, I mean introverted person, 
you get um, the energized by talking to people. It's how uh, your brain is set up that way. Um, more extroverted people, they, they, it's the other way around. They get energized by talking to people. So they get de-energized by being alone. Doesn't have to do anything with shy or being smart or being dumb or nothing like that. It's just how the brain works. So I'm in my specific case, it's kind of odd because I do very well uh, door to door. I get energized, it's, but I do get de-energized when I call people. I, I don't know why. So I I have to like keep um, forcing myself to do the phone calls because eventually I'll get to a person like the previous one that I got that does have the financial wherewithal and did uh, take me a little bit more seriously. So he's like, send me a me an email because I'll have my secretary send you the all everything that you need so that you can write us a proposal, right? That's better. That's much better than the, than the idiots that kind of uh, push bad energy through the phone call. So I wanted to share this with you once again. Uh, stay strong because um, this shit is really not easy. But I, th I think sometimes if like, if you make a point of sharing this with people, they can see right through you and they, c and they can see that you are telling the truth. So be really intentional in what you're doing and uh, don't be mindful of um, what people are telling you over the phone. Like It's like, just tell yourself, this is one another one of those. Kill the phone call, like, okay, thank you, have a nice week, bye-bye, and do the next one. And one thing that I noticed that kind of helps me is that pausing um, the minimum. It's like you uh, put the phone down and then dial again. Put the phone down and dial again. Don't, don't uh, have large waiting periods because you'll notice that um, after a while it takes you within one hour until you do the second call. It's like you are five minutes or just or one minute just to rest, it will become an hour. And if you have enough of those throughout your day, you won't complete your sales cycle because you didn't make enough phone calls. And if you have repeated days like that, you will fail short of your dreams. So don't do that. So the way to do that is do it in chunks. That's the best way of, uh, there's the one guy, I forget his name, that uh, f found a way of studying that was really effect effective. It was like narrowing in chunks. It's a Pomodoro technique. It's essentially like 20 minutes, uh, rest a couple of minutes, then another 20 minutes and all that. In the specific case, maybe it's not 20 minutes, a little more, a little bit less, but it's like, let's say 10 calls, groups of 10 calls. It's like 10 calls, you don't, you don't allow yourself to, to stand up. 10 calls, that's it. If the guys really say, thank you, have a nice week, bye-bye, next call. Because remember, your best, uh, your uh, worst enemy is time. And everything that you have around you in your life that is like kind of, you can feel them. You can feel them breathing down your neck, right? So it's like the only way for you to get rid of all that, it's just to become stronger at what you're doing. So be intentional in, in, in what you're doing and understanding that I cannot, I cannot stand up until I make at least 10 calls, right? And then you rest five minutes, then it's five minutes. You have your, your lifetime to the minute, then five minutes, do another 10 calls, then five minutes, do another 10 calls, right? Go take a piss, something like that. Go, go um, take a shower or like have a, a couple of, uh, a bit of sun, right? Something, but then 10 minutes, do another 10 calls. That's the only way you're going to achieve this because otherwise you keep failing because your brain is going to try to get you out of that. And that's exactly where you're failing because if you have more of that crap instead of the discipline in order to finally getting those three or four people that you need in actually to close the, the week and you have the amount of money that you need, because think about it, it's like every single day is the same, right? So it's either the same and you are failing or it's either starts being different and then becoming the same of that different because now it's new and then you start succeeding. Remember, no one's coming to the rescue. You have to save your own life. Stay strong, my friend.